Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I am going to review the original Ultra Q series from 96, or um, as they say in Japan, Urutura Q. Now, um, this is the first Ultra series, and uh, yeah, it aired in 96, and it consists of 28 episodes. Now, um, what this series is about? Well, um, first I'll talk about the characters. First we have uh, Majumi Jun, and um, he is an aviator, and also a, a sci-fi novelist. Next we have, uh, oh yes, Endogara Yuriko, I mean, yes, uh, Yuriko, and um, He is a, uh, oh yes, a, a photographer and reporter for the Daily News. Oh, uh, and also, uh, everybody calls her yuri Chan. Next we have, um, oh yes, um, Togawa Ipe, and uh, he is uh, an apprentice pilot and uh, works with Jun, and he refers to Jun as Senpai. Then we have, um, oh yes, Ishunodani Hakase. He is a scientist and he uh, uses his uh, science, scientific knowledge to uh, help the girls out, you know, when uh, it's required. And finally, we have Seki Tezuke. And he is a uh, chief editor of the Daily News and is Yuri Chan's boss. No one. Um, Now, what mostly happy in this series? Well, um, the character mostly deal with giant monsters or kaiju. They have like uh, those uh, Japanese kaiju movies, but half an hour or at least uh, 25 minutes. And well, that's it. I mean, um, there is really a uh, no story arcs or anything like that. We just have the characters here, you know, deal with kaijus. And some kaijus are regular size. You know. Yeah. That's mostly it. You know, what I think about this series, well, um, I really can't say much. I mean, I don't hate it, but um, I really didn't become that much of a fan of it. I mean, maybe because I haven't uh, seen enough kaiju movies in my life. I mean, right now I am tempting to uh, catch up with as many as I can, but um, for the other Q series, um, yeah, I can't really say uh, that much. And it's probably why Ultraman was created, or as it is in Japan, Ruduraman. Of course, there are some inter interesting things, you know, behind the scenes of Ultra Q. For example, uh, yes, I learned this when I was doing research before making this video. And one thing is that um, the kaiju costumes are mostly like a uh, reuse from a Toho kaiju movies, but were altered, you know. For uh, this series, so I'm not to be confused with uh, the ones in the movies. And uh, yeah, I think I, I read that the creator of Audrey Q worked with uh, Toho, you know, the movie that makes the studio that makes, you know, the Godzilla movies and others like it. So, uh, yes, and uh, where you can watch it, well, um, uh, there are, see, uh, uh, oh yes, there are episodes on YouTube, uh, but I'm not sure if you would like watching it, uh, how it is on the screen, I mean, the way it's presented. And it's also available on Tubi, and that is the uh, Shot Factory um, uh, sub thing. So, yes, yeah, so I think that's all I can say about Ultra Q in this video, and also, um, 
Please is going to me. Oh, yes, uh, for whether you should look at watches or not. Well, um, yes, sir. Um, I don't think I can recall anything in this series that should you not watch. I mean, after all, this was in 1960, so. Well, I think it's alright. Of course, if you are a parent and you rather watch the series, you know, first before you can decide whether you let your kids watch it or not, then uh, you can do that. It's up to you. So, yes, I think that's all I can say about uh, Other Q in this video. And also, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. And also, please share this video on social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.